Greetings, my dear audience. I'm thrilled to have you here on my channel, where I'll be revealing fascinating facts in this video. Keep in mind that these videos were generated using AI and may contain inaccuracy. Don't hesitate to subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Cebu City, the capital of the province of Cebu, is considered the oldest city in the Philippines. Its rich history dates back to 1565, when the Spanish conquistador Miguel Lopez de Legazpi established the city. Over the years, Cebu has remained a center of commerce and trade, making it one of the country's most vibrant and culturally rich cities. From the Magellan's Cross and the Basilica del Santo Nino to the Cebu Taoist Temple and the Mactan Island beaches, Cebu City has many attractions that embody its rich history and cultural heritage. So come visit Cebu City and experience the charm and beauty of the oldest city in the Philippines. The city is situated on the eastern side of the island of Cebu, where nature meets urban living. With its beautiful beaches and diving spots, the island of Cebu attracts visitors from all over the world. This city is known for its stunning coastlines crystal clear waters, and breathtaking views. Explore the underwater world, hike to the scenic mountaintops, or simply soak up the sun on the sandy shores. With a variety of activities to choose from, this city is the perfect destination for those seeking adventure, relaxation, or both. Come and discover the beauty of the eastern side of Cebu. Welcome to Cebu City, the Queen City of the South, situated in the Visayas region of the Philippines, Cebu is renowned for its thriving commerce, trade, and tourism industries. With its bustling port and airport, Cebu serves as a gateway to other destinations in the country. This vibrant city boasts of a proud cultural heritage and a plethora of historical and cultural sites, such as the Magellan's Cross and the Basilica del Santo Niño. From mouth-watering local delicacies, pristine beaches, to exciting nightlife, Cebu City has something for everyone. Come and discover the magic of the Queen City of the South. The famous Magellan's Cross is an important landmark in Cebu City. It's a symbol of Christianity and a reminder of the country's rich history. The cross marks the spot where Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan planted a cross in 1520, one claiming the Philippines for Spain. It's a testament to the enduring legacy of Magellan's voyage and the lasting impact of Spanish colonization on the country. Today, the Magellan's Cross attracts visitors from all over the world who come to pay their respects and learn more about the country's fascinating past. The city's Sinulog Festival is a vibrant and exciting event that draws crowds from all over the country. This colorful festival takes place every third Sunday of January, and it is a celebration of Santo Nino, the patron saint of Cebu. The streets are alive with the sounds of drums and music as thousands of people dance their way through the city in colorful costumes. The Sinulog Festival is a time of joy and celebration, and it is an opportunity for people to come together and honor their faith and culture. It truly is one of the biggest and most exciting festivals in the country. The Basilica del Santo Nino in Cebu City is not only a beautiful and historic landmark, but it's also the oldest Roman Catholic church in the Philippines. Built in 1565 by Spanish colonists, the church holds a special place in the hearts of Filipinos who come from far and wide to pay homage to the Holy Child, which is housed inside the basilica. The architecture and intricate design of the church are simply breathtaking, giving visitors a glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of the Philippines. If you ever find yourself in Cebu City, a visit to the Basilica del Santo Nino is a must-see. Welcome to the Mactan, Cebu International Airport, the second busiest airport in the Philippines. With over 10 million passengers flying in and out of this airport each year, it continues to be a key gateway to the popular tourist destinations of Cebu and its neighboring island. Equipped with modern facilities and amenities, the airport ensures a comfortable and convenient experience for all its passengers. So whether you're a seasoned traveler or a first-time visitor, rest assured that your journey through Mactan, Cebu International Airport, will be smooth and hassle-free. 
Cebu City is known for its rich history and vibrant culture, and one of its most striking landmarks is the Taoist Temple. This beautiful temple was built by the city's Chinese community in 1970, community in 1972, and is a testament to their faith and dedication. The temple features ornate decorations, intricate statues, and beautifully landscaped gardens that all come together to create a truly serene and awe-inspiring atmosphere. Whether you're a local or a visitor, a trip to the Taoist Temple is a must. See destination that will leave you feeling enlightened and inspired. So come and explore the stunning beauty of Cebu's Taoist Temple today. Come take a walk on the wild side at the Cebu City Zoo, where over 100 animals call this place their home. From playful primates to majestic tigers and even ferocious crocodiles, this zoo has it all. Get up close and personal with beautiful birds from around the world and learn about their unique habitats and behaviors. With so much to see and explore, the Cebu City Zoo is the perfect place for a fun-filled day with family and friends. Don't miss this exciting opportunity to experience the wonders of the animal kingdom. The University of San Carlos, founded in 1595, is a true institution of excellence in Asia. Situated in the dynamic city of Cebu, it is also renowned as one of the leading universities in the Philippines. Over the centuries, it has been a beacon of intellectual curiosity and academic rigor, nurturing some of the most brilliant minds of the region. Today, the University of San Carlos continues to uphold its rich legacy, offering students a transformative education that is grounded in tradition yet geared towards modernity. It's no wonder that this venerable institution has produced generations of leaders and achievers who have made a positive impact not only in the Philippines but in the global community as well. 